Hello everyone, my name is Python GB and welcome back to another episode of my Terraria Summoner playthrough. We are back today my friends, thank you so much once again for the amount of support you've been showing for this series, I really really do appreciate it. And yeah, today we have three main goals, first of which involves going back down to hell and taking down the wall of flesh a couple more times hopefully. Second of which involves going to the ocean and farming out some pirate maps because I don't feel like I'm quite ready to take down bosses just yet in terms of the hard mode mech bosses but i do think we might be able to take down the pirate invasion perhaps get a pirate staff if we're very very lucky and the third goal involves it raining and us trying to get the nimbus rods so we can obviously go ahead and start out with the voodoo doll and the wall of flesh it has just become daytime so what that means is that the guide will keep spawning back in despite him dying a whole bunch so yeah that's a thing. So anyways, guys, let's go ahead and let's take down the wall of flesh a few times, huh? I'll meet you guys down there. Turns out I forgot to open one of these here uh, shadow chests. So, got ourselves a flower of fire. Obviously, can't use it, but it's still pretty nice to find. All right, nice one, man. Okay, so let's head over to the area of which the person is going to die. And uh, let's, uh, let, let's get them with killing the wall of flesh, huh? Alright peeps, let's get this thing rolling, shall we? Haven't taken down a wall of flesh with spiders before, so this should certainly be interesting, to say the very least. So, yeah, let's do this thing. We're going to keep using the cloud, simply because it will offer us just a little bit more damage. But as you can see, my spider dudes, uh, they're, they're going to work, man. They really are going to work. Holy crap, man. Jeez. Alright, let's, uh, maybe we should utilize the spider staff a bit more. The, the queen spider staff, that is. Uh, oh! Oh, well, I was rather expecting that to take a lot longer than it did. I'm genuinely surprised at how little time that took. <laughs> That's pretty funny, actually. All right, what do we get? A warrior emblem? Not exactly useful, but it may be useful to make an Avenger emblem or something out of. That's not too bad. I'm not too heartbroken about not getting a summoner emblem, but that is, at the end of the day, what I would like to get. A summoner emblem will allow us to have, with menacing on it anyway, 19% increased summon damage, which would be very, very nice indeed. So yeah, let's see about trying to get some more voodoo dolls, and let's see about killing the wall of flesh a few times more. Huh, and another shadow chest we didn't open, which has a sun fury in it. Interesting. Whoa! Hey there, Mr. Shadow Mimic! Hey, oh my god, it just got destroyed by those spiders. <laughs> Man, my spiders are badass. I mean, I'm not gonna complain about that. That's pretty awesome. Apparently, there's another Mimic somewhere. Where he at? Oh, there he is. Hey! You there! You there! You must die! I'm sorry. It's the way of the world. Come on. Take him down, take him down, take him, take him, take him down. Yeah! Spiders doing their job. Star click from that. Not bad, man. Not bad. Doing pretty well. Got ourselves a whole bunch of gold as well, obviously. Because uh, mimics are very, very good for getting gold. So that's pretty cool. Uh, apparently there's yet another mimic somewhere. Wait, where is it? Oh, it's down there? What the heck? What are you doing down there, man? Oh, hang on. There's something down there. It's a cross necklace. Pretty awesome. Okay, so that's like the third mimic in the space of a minute. This is craziness, man. Holy crap. <laughs> nice. And a magma stone. Not too bad. And there's the voodoo demon. Hey. Hey, dude. Yeah, there you go. Get wrecked. All right. Uh, has the guy arrived back in yet? Nope. He needs to. Otherwise, we can't make any progress. Come on, gaiety. I know you want to spawn in, but at the same time, I also know you don't want to spawn in because of your imminent demise. So, you know, it's up to you. <laughs> well, Crimson, thank you for crapping all over my town and thus making a whole bunch of my houses not valid anymore. Ugh, that would explain why the guide hasn't been moving in. We need to make ourselves some new houses that are further away from the Crimson. That's mildly annoying, I must admit, but oh well. I guess we've been needing to make some more houses for a little while now, so... I guess it's not all too bad, so... Yeah. Let's just get on with it, shall we?
There we go, my friends. Three new valid houses. Now, I'm not going to lie. They had to be pretty basic because I didn't have a lot of stucco blocks left. So, yeah, this is what we've got going for now. I might go ahead and renovate it just a little bit later. But in the meantime, it should be enough to hopefully get the guy to respawn in at some point. But... Because it's becoming night time, I don't think we're going to have enough time to really do a great deal of stuff. So I'm thinking we go ahead, organize our inventory, and perhaps go to the ocean to farm out some pirate maps. So, yeah, let's go do that. Oh, that reminds me, because I managed to get the cross necklace and also the jagged star cloak from the Mimic, I should be able to make myself a star veil. There we go. Nice one. Pretty nice defensive accessory, so the thing I might replace that with is the balloon, so let's go and put that on. Causes stars to fall and increases length of invincibility after taking damage, so yeah, very good. It's defensive and offensive at the same time, which is kind of awesome, and yeah. Sweet! But in the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a things to sell chest and we haven't really been doing a great deal of selling as you guys have been pointing out. So I think it's time that we've gone a major selling spree so we can actually start stocking up that chest again. Because, yeah, it's a bit full for my liking. <laughs> Ooh! A jellyfish just gave me a mechanical worm. Awesome! I'm okay with that. Hey, at long last, the guide has arrived back in. There we go. And he's taken the top house, as he blooming well should. I like that top house. It's got a little fire imp picture in it. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's go ahead and recommence taking down the wall of flesh, huh? All right, guys. Here we go. Time to take down wall of flesh number two. Let's do this thing, my friends. Let's chuck down another one of these celestial spider staffs. And, uh, yeah, let's just let these guys do their job. Let's have a look at the damage. Actually, here we go, 7,700, and now they're going to start focusing on these guys. 6866 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 000. Yep, this is, uh, this is a lot of damage. A lot of damage indeed, holy crap. All right, I'll tell you what, let's just have a wee little bit of additional damage just from the cloud, because why not? There we go, yeah, that's what we like to see. That's what we like to see. I like it, man. I love it, I love it. These spiders are doing their job, and they're doing it well. And in a few seconds flat, they'll be dead. There we go. Fantastic. Uh, what did we get that time? Sorcerer emblem. Dang it, man. That's not exactly what we need, but we did get a wall of flesh trophy, so that's not too bad. It's not the worst thing in the world, my friends. Not the worst thing in the world. Yeah, <laughs> another mimic just got taken down by the spiders. Got ourselves a philosopher's stone. Pretty awesome. I like it. Oh, yay, Terraria, because that is exactly what I wanted to have happen right now, right? No! No, it's not. I don't, I don't want to I don't wanna be dealing with Skeletron, because he's a butt. He's going to kill me, man. I don't want to be dealing with that guy. <laughs> I don't like him, man. We're going to have to escape this fight, my friends. There is absolutely no possible way, I think. I just don't think I'll ever be able to take him down. Not with the setup I've got at the moment. Unless I can, in which case I'd be extremely very surprised, but I don't know. You know, you know what? I'm going to stay up, I'm going to be a man, I'm going to stay up, and we'll see how we do, I guess. Then we can at least try and gauge how, how difficult the bosses are going to be, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to go ahead and stay up, and we'll see what we can do with, with the stuff that we have, okay? Alright, so all we got to do is wait, pretty much. I'm not going to use any of my buffs, because I'm so confident that I'll die, that I'm just not feeling like it's going to be worth me doing that. So, yeah. Well, I'm not going to lie, this isn't going as well as I could have wanted it to. Although my spiders are doing a pretty good job of latching to Skeletron Prime's face and his other areas, so... I don't know, it's, it's definitely still extremely very difficult, though, my friends, so... We're going to have to pull something out of our ass when it comes to the actual fight. He's down to 26,000 health. I just don't... There's no possible way we're going to be able to do this, my friends. I might as well just accept my fate and get killed. There we go. <laughs> God damn it, man. That's so annoying when you're in the middle of trying to build a house and Tavar is just like, Hey, I'm going to spawn a boss on you. I'm just like, no. No. I don't want that. Why you do this? <laughs> oh, dear. All right, let's just keep going.
Well, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this was never intending to be a building episode, but I thought I'd bring you guys back just to show you what I've been doing. As you can see, I've made myself not only this house here in this episode, I've also made this house here in this episode as well, because unfortunately, the crimson is continually spreading, and as a result, this house is no longer valid either. So, yeah, I've got three more houses which are valid, so as you can see, one, two, three, and, you know, the witch doctor wound up moving in there because he's a jerk and he stole the guide's place like a blooming idiot blooming guy and it still hasn't rained yet man i really want it to rain so i can get myself a nimbus rod dude good lord above ah all right let's head back down to hell and continue on with the wall of flesh farming hey guides arrived sweet a long freaking last dude god damn you take a long time to respawn and get wrecked son uh, what is that going to be? It looks like an emblem of some description, but I have no idea what emblem it is. Find out in just a second. It's a warrior emblem again. Uh, this is going to be one of those episodes, isn't it, where I'm just going to get every single thing apart from what I actually want. Ugh, don't you love it when that happens? Hey, he actually respawned in pretty quickly that time. All right, let's keep that going. Breaker blade. No. No, that's not what I want. Well, at least it's now raining, folks. Let's see if we can't get ourselves a Nimbus Rod. God damn it, we have not had one out of our three goals done yet. I want to have at least one goal done before the end of this episode, man, because this has been quite annoying in terms of me trying to achieve a goal and Terraria just, like, being like, nope. So, yeah. I want to do one of the goals, man. Just one. Come on, give me one of them Nimbus things, dudes. Ah, oh, god damn it. Nope, nothing so far. Let's keep going. Oh, let's freaking go, man. At long last, one of our goals for the episode is actually complete. We managed to get ourselves one of them beautiful Nimbus rod things. And of course, it's a good one as well. 42 magic damage. Very good. And of course, this with the Crimson Rod combined... What? <laughs> I said what? This with the Crimson Rod combined gives us three clouds, and they should all be able to take down the Destroyer with absolute ease. Now, one thing I've noticed is the fact that these guys move a hell of a lot faster on background walls. So what I'm thinking is that we go ahead and make ourselves a very, very large arena consisting pretty much of just a whole bunch of background walls. Now, that's probably something I'm going to do off camera between episodes, but I was just saying just to sort of let you guys know that that's what I intend on doing. So, yeah. Uh, I don't think I have any more blooming... I don't, I don't think I've got any more, man. Tools and weapons. Yeah, we haven't got any more of the Wall of Flesh summoners. So, yeah. I think, because it's been quite a long one and, you know, we have got one of the goals completed. We're going to end the episode here, my friends. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy the episode and, of course, you're excited to see more, be sure to drop a like rating. And, of course, you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. I mean, look at us, man. A little village. Our town is expanding really nicely. Got this house here new and this house here, which is also new. So, yeah, all is looking good. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching, my friends. Your support, as always, has been much appreciated. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.